There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Madeira is one of them. Madeira, Regional Laws Number 69-2014 and Number 13-2016. These laws criminalize cruelty toward pet people and their abandonment and prohibit the killing of stray animal persons. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughter houses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan, make peace. So be it. programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Műsoraink sok nyelvet tartalmaznak. Kérjük tekintse meg itt. suprememastertv.com per schedule. A land blessed with pioneering inventors, a European country with a vegan former president and a tropical island wonderland at the forefront of renewable energy. These are some qualities of the nations we will explore. Please tune in to Positive Changes in Countries, part 56 of a multi-part series, Empathetic Governments, Empathetic Citizens, Slovakia, Slovenia and the Solomon Islands. Quality of life improves when we make choices that are life-supporting. Being vegetarian doesn't just help one's own life flourish, but also that of other beings and the whole world. Guru Dev, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, Vegetarian. We all together have to change this cruel reality. It's not okay. Animals are not objects, not things. It's not acceptable for babies as young as two weeks old, unweaned, unable to regulate body temperature, to be loaded onto trucks, to take journeys lasting up to 70 hours. It's not acceptable. It's time to stop animal transport stop animal transport stop animal transport in the beginning they were pretty much the same size it was really like watching two puppy dogs they play very differently yet somehow they understand each other and they allow each other to be themselves you can tell that there's something really special going on between them. Ahoy is how we say hello in Slovak, the language of my country, Slovakia. Precious friends and viewers, welcome to our show. My name is Diana. Ahoy, Diana. In Slovenian, we say zdravo for hello. By the way, you look beautiful in that outfit. Hey, friends, my name is Luca. Thank you, Luca. You look quite dashing yourself. Hello, you how everyone? That means hello, how are you? In the pidgin English of the Solomon Islands, my name is Salome. Thank you all for joining us on this special day on which we are wearing our traditional clothing to share a little of our culture with you. I love your colorful outfit, Salome. If you allow me, I would now like to start our show about our beloved homelands. Sure, go ahead. Sure, go ahead. Make peace now, even if your life's worth just a grain of dirt. Make it benevolent and glorious not to use it as a murder weapon toy, 
to cause suffering and anguishing voice. The Slovak Republic. The Slovak Republic or Slovakia, a landlocked country located in Central Europe, shares borders with the Czech Republic, Poland, Ukraine or Ukraine, Hungary and Austria. Her magical mountainous snow-covered peaks supply abundant water to some 49,000 kilometers of waterways. Slovakia has picturesque landscapes featuring mountain lakes and valleys carved by mighty rivers like the Va, Nitra, and Hiron. Rich in culture and history, she has eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including caves, medieval castles, and historical churches. Proud of her rich folklore and traditions, Slovakia, which is home to 5.8 million Slovaks, has brought to Slava as its capital. The kind Slovaks opened their hearts to welcome thousands of Ukrainian or Uranian refugees fleeing the brutal Russian invasion of their country. Hundreds of volunteers rushed to the border to help those in need. Schools, clinics, and homes were open to care for the refugees, ensuring they would feel welcomed. Hassan Akahalaf, an 11-year-old Ukrainian or Uranian boy with only a plastic bag, a small backpack, and the phone number of his Slovak relative written on the back of his hand, traveled alone for more than 1,200 kilometers to the border and reunited with his relatives in Bratislava. Slovakia showed great compassion in supporting the refugees' families, particularly the children who needed access to education. The government generously provided them with financial aid, along with language and tutoring courses. Wow, your citizens' love really touches my heart. Yes, and did you know that many important inventions were made by Slovaks? They include the parachute, the helicopter, modern optics, the compressed air pump, the water pump, the turbine, the heat pump, and wireless radio transmission to name a few, all of which show the creativity of our citizens. Slovakia is a Shining World Leadership Award for Animal Protection Laureate. In 2019, the Slovak National Council passed historic legislation prohibiting fur farming. Effective since 2021, the law requires that all fur farms be phased out by 2025, making Slovakia the 15th European nation to take a decisive stand against fur production. The vegan lifestyle is also becoming more popular in Slovakia, with activist organizations such as Extinction Rebellion and Sloboda Svirat, or Freedom of Animals, promoting veganism. A 2019 survey found that 3.5% of the population followed a vegan or vegetarian diet, while 22.7% were reducing meat consumption. In addition, our government is promoting healthy eating. This March, a decree by the Ministry of Health ruled that food sold in schools must be nutritionally valuable, meaning mainly fresh vegetables and fruits. Incredible. I didn't know Slovakia had made so many advances. Yes, we're a benevolent and inventive nation. Vegan side effect, feeling the smile in your heart. We'll now pause for a moment to pray for peace for all beings, humans, and animal people alike. We'll be right back with fascinating news from Slovenia. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television.
there are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. Welcome back to Positive Changes in Countries, Part Fifty Six, on Supreme Master Television. Republic of Slovenia. Ladies, now I guess it's my turn. Slovenia is a stunning European nation located in the southern part of Central Europe, sharing borders with Italy, Austria, Hungary, and Croatia. She also has a short Adriatic coastline. We have a productive economy, and the country is home to more than two million blessed Slovenians. It's no wonder we've topped happiness rankings in the past few years. Ljubljana, the largest city, is our capital. Slovenia's second president, His Excellency Dr. Janis Donoshek. A devoted vegan dedicated his life to creating a better world. In recognition of his enlightened leadership, on May 31, 2007, Supreme Master Qing Hai, vegan, personally presented His Excellency with the Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion at the Presidential Palace in Slovenia. He was a great beacon of light in the political arena. Agree. So it's very good. Your country has forests and clean air, and soon no more smoking in the public. Today I went all over your country, and I think your country has everything. You have mountain, you have sea, you have river, you have lakes, yeah, and you even have a vegan president, <laughs> a vegan hotel also, of course, of course, a vegan restaurant, but a vegan president who has it? How many countries have a vegan president? Tell me. Slovenia is a leader in sustainability. Over the past decade, through proactive green policies and education, she has become an example of nationwide awareness and citizens' commitment to protecting the environment, nature, and biodiversity. With forests covering more than 60 percent of the land and hosting one percent of the world's known species, we're truly blessed. Approximately 40.5 percent of our land area is legally protected to safeguard natural habitats. In the Good Country Index, Slovenia currently ranks fourth among 169 nations in terms of positive contributions. To the planet and climate, we were also one of the sustainable destinations to visit in 2022 by Condé Nast Traveler magazine. Veganism is also taking hold. Slovenians are known for their nature-loving ways, and the country already has a veg-friendly tradition with abundant fruits, vegetables. And various grains being the main parts of daily nutrition, we have a variety of vegan foods, including veganized traditional classics and innovative international cuisine. According to HappyCow.net, Slovenia is home to about 335 veg-friendly restaurants, many of which are vegetarian or fully vegan. Since 2013, Vega Fest, an annual vegan festival, has taken place in Ljubljana city center, offering visitors informative workshops, lectures, performances, food exhibitions, and uplifting experiences related to plant-based living.
What's more, the Slovenian startup Juicy Marbles has invented a plant-based steak that mimics muscle texture by layering soy protein into linear fibers. Although still in the developmental stage, trials of the product have been impressive. Oh, what a great name! I also love how green and vibrant Slovenia is. Yes, we're blessed by heaven. Peace is happening around our world. There are many countries who have taken actions to promote peace and foster amity among peoples and governments. The following is one of them. Etc. July 2023. The Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons lauds the United States for eliminating its last stockpile of chemical weapons. By creating peace, we all can make a loving, serene and prosperous world. The Solomon Islands. The Solomon Islands is an archipelago consisting of more than 1,000 islands with a total land area of 29,000 square kilometers. Each of the country's nine provinces has distinct languages, with pidgin being the most widely spoken. The capital, Honiara, is located on Guadalcanal, the largest of the islands. Our government strives to improve its citizens' livelihood and strengthen climate resilience through workable development and through sustainability roadmaps laid out in the National Development Strategy. For the social and economic benefit of all islanders, programs and initiatives have been launched to restore, protect, conserve and maintain natural resources and biodiversity. Over the past decade, the Solomon Islands has been promoting organic farming, which enhances food and nutritional security, and improves the health of the people and local ecosystems. Recently, we celebrated the launch of two organic learning farms, which are part of the Pacific Organic Learning Farm Network, or POLFN project. The farms are designed to foster innovative agroecological practices and knowledge sharing among researchers, large and smallholder farmers, and household gardeners. Ah, it's so refreshing to hear about wise leaders. True, we also have a high potential for clean energy sources, including solar, wind power, and hydroelectricity. Collectively, We've set an ambitious goal of transitioning our electricity grid to 100% renewable by 2030 with benevolent financial support from the World Bank, the Asian Development Bank, and the European Union. With the Green Parts Initiative, Port of Honiara is now powered by a 1 megawatt solar farm. In 2019, the Solomon Islands Port of Authority, or SIPA, announced that Port of Noro will also be powered by a 1 megawatt photovoltaic system. SIPA has been helping rural communities on the islands to install solar powered lighting systems for schools, markets, community halls, streets, and homes. Solomon Ports was awarded the 2022 International Association of Ports and Harbors, or IAPH Sustainability Award in the Community Building category. This June, construction began on the 15 MW Tina River hydropower plant near Honiara, which is expected to cut 70% of the country's reliance on imported diesel fuels.
O Gaza, all lands belong to the Lord, not any grabber. Live in love with your neighbors, not die in horror. Supreme Master Ching Hai, Vegan In addition, the vegan diet is being accepted more and more on the islands due to the many non-benefits to health, the environment, and animal people's well-being. Traditional cuisines are mainly plant-based with locally grown ingredients such as taro, yam, pumpkin, plantain, and cassava, as well as abundant tropical fruits such as mangoes, pineapples, and papayas. Vegan and vegetarian restaurants are popping up all over the islands, while many restaurants offer vegan options. My heaven inspired the pure-hearted Solomon Islanders to soon embrace the planet-saving vegan lifestyle. With a population of under a million, living in an idyllic tropical paradise, your country sounds fascinating. Thanks, Diana. Yes, we are very grateful to God. Vegan, the high life form of love. Wanna go for a walk? Come on, darling. There's my good boy. There's my good boy. Once John Lewis was fully recovered, I started halter training him to take him for long walks around the property to meet other animals and acclimate to the cows. This guy was there every step of the way, showing him that he could trust the cows, nothing gonna hurt him. Intelligent viewers, it's been a pleasure presenting today's show. Up next is Body Code of a Master, Part Two of Eleven, on between master and disciples. Right after noteworthy news, please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May the grace of the providence bestow health and happiness on you and yours as you nurture and promote the compassionate vegan way of living. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not rich. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash PCC.